Morning or evening, grace by the nest. Such good to have everybody back along with us here with our Word Awakening and or Temperance Awakening. Whichever one you're viewing this here, got to something special here today. Uh, first of all, like with our Word Awakening, with our weekend study, we're going to be looking at, as you saw the title there, something special about uh, tobacco. We had been going through uh, uh, the book of Haggai, a book that we're currently writing there, but we're going to take a break from that today. As I said, we have something special to do. And uh, something, uh, a special project here, kind of a couple of different things. And uh, so what we're going to be looking at is actually a track that uh, I wrote about tobacco called Tobacco Kills. And so we're going to be uh, looking over this uh, track today. So what do we have uh, probably won't be uh, very, very long. But also we do have a something, a special event that we're going to be doing uh, this coming Friday at the present time of, of recording of uh, this, uh, you know, this teaching on April the 1st, we're going to be doing a uh, an event, an event about tobacco. April the 1st is Take Down Tobacco Day. Uh, that's something that's also sponsored by the campaign for, uh, campaign for tobacco-free kids. And so with Temperance Awakening, we're also going to be taking a part in that as we work closely with campaign uh, for tobacco-free kids and uh, their, uh, uh, their, uh, <clears throat> Uh, montage, I should say. They're the people that are over Take Down Tobacco as they have that, uh, particularly uh, April the 1st, a day to uh, educate people about the dangers of tobacco. And this is a track, as I said, that we're going to be over, uh, that I've written. We're going to be passing this out on April the 1st on Friday uh, throughout Warrior, Alabama, particularly at an Arts and Crafts Festival that they're going to be having there. And so we're going to, we're going to be passing this out there, as well as even after that. Um... And so this is kind of just in a, kind of in a regular format. We're also going to kind of put this like in a booklet form. You know that to that most tracks come in. So this is actually a couple of pages long. And then our second page there. And so, uh... And something else also that we're going to be doing with Temperance Awakening, we're going to be sending out a newsletter. We're going to be sending out a newsletter once a month, and that's going to start in April. And what we're... First thing that we're going to send out is actually just going to be this track. Uh, we're going to email that out to uh, like pastors that support our ministry and anybody else that wants that newsletter. Speaking of which, if uh, you want to get on that uh, newsletter, our email address is there. Just shoot us an email. Say I want it. That's all free. You know, we'll also be uh, this will also be in uh, some some type of printed form for you as well. We'll try maybe to get this also like into a like into a booklet, more like a booklet track form if we can. I'm gonna be going to the library to do that, so we'll do our very best to send that out to everybody. And then also with the Word Awakening, want that newsletter as well. We send that out every week. That's also free, so I want to get on that just to tell us as well. And so we uh, thank the Lord for. Uh, uh, for expanding the ministry, as well as all the support that uh, people have uh, have thrown, have, have given our way. We greatly uh, do appreciate it and thank the Lord for allowing us to do this here. And so we're going to get right into the uh, what we've written here. And so, you know, going to use this to, you know, educate people. You know, we're right here on the World Wide Web on a number of different platforms. And so we appreciate those doors that the uh, Lord has opened for us. And so looking at Tobacco Kills... And uh, actually, before we get started here, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Uh, Father, we sure do love you. We thank you for the gifts of sin. Thank you, Father, that you've done all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon our hearts and upon our lives. An opportunity that uh, we have to build your work here on earth. And just pray that you'd bless what we go over here today. May you open people's eyes and hearts about the dangers of tobacco. And may those that are lost, may they repent of their sin and get saved. And even those who are saved that have this sin in their life, you know, may they repent of it and get it right. And just help us all, Lord, in that way that only you can. And we'll be careful to give all and all the praise and all the glory for all the that you alone for it's in the blessed name of Jesus Christ we pray all these things amen and amen and so tobacco kills physically and spiritually for us several years now tobacco has been the leading cause of preventable death in the world responsible for more than 8 million deaths a year and 7 million of uh, those deaths are the result of direct tobacco use while around 1.2 million are the results of secondhand smoke and there are more than 7,000 chemicals in cigarettes. At least 69 of these chemicals are known to cause cancer. Most people are aware that smoking causes lung cancer, but the truth is smoking can cause cancer almost anywhere in your body. And people who dip or chew tobacco are at a high risk for uh, getting mouth cancer. And it's not just cancer that tobacco use causes, but a host of other health problems. These include heart disease, stroke, lung diseases, diabetes, and chronic ob obstructive pulmonary disease. 
Smoking also increases the risk of tuberculosis, certain eye diseases, and problems of the immune system, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Now, on a spiritual level, it's a sin to do things that harm our bodies. You know, like the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Then 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. See, we certainly cannot glorify God by using tobacco. And it's also wrong to have unwholesome addictions, as the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6.12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. And 1 Corinthians 10.23 says, All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. See, tobacco users make themselves the slave of the product, a product that's ruining their health and can lead to their death. See, the good news is that God forgives sin. You know, very popular Bible verse out of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. See, God loved everyone in the world so much that he sent his only begotten Son to die on the cross for our sins. And even if you are not a tobacco user, you're guilty of some sin. Because the Bible says in Romans 3, 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You know, that goes for everybody, you know, myself included. You know, the difference between me and a lost person is that I've been saved. You know, everybody has sinned. Everybody's lost without Christ and on their way to hell. As the Bible says in Matthew 13, 50, And shall cast them into the furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, sin leads to eternal hell, but... God offers us the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. Like it said there, the latter part of Romans 6.23, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, and then 2 Corinthians 6.2 says, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. See, today is the day to accept salvation. See, we're not guaranteed another day. See, if you go to just about any graveyard in this world, you know what you're going to see? You're going to see people that died of all ages. You know, the majority of those people might be elderly, but not all of them are. You know, you can see very young children there. You can see teenagers, people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. So we're not guaranteed another day. See, God made salvation easy. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with a heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. See that term there, believeth unto righteousness, that's referring to repentance. See, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 7, 10 says, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. See, repentance is being sorry for your sins and giving up your sins to follow the Lord. See, in order to be saved and accept salvation, all you have to do is pray. Tell the Lord you believe He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, down on the cross for your sins, that He was raised the third day. Ask the Lord to save you, forgive you of your sins, repent of your sins, and God will joyously save you. See, He made salvation easy. You know, just pray that prayer there. Give your heart to God. Say, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins. I know that you sent your only begotten Son to die for me and that you rose him up the third day. Please save me and he'll joyously save you. If you want any help with that, our email address is right there in the description. You know, you can give the one for Temperance Awakening or World Awakening. They're both there. And if you do accept the free gift of salvation, please email us so we can rejoice with you. And so thank you there for being with us and uh, going over here what we've had. As I said, what we have today a little shorter than uh, you know most of our weekend studies. But what the Lord led us to do, though. And so got a special event here. You know, I got a special track, as I said, here. So if you want this track, want the newsletter, you know, just to let us know there. Uh, you know, shoot us an email or, you know, if you're on, you know, YouTube, Social Cross, Facebook, Reddit or whatever, you want to comment, you know, anything below with, you know, your email address, you can. Or like I said, if you want that to be private, you know, then just, you know, shoot us an email address there. And we'll give you that and help you in any way that we can. That's what we're uh, here for. If the Lord is doing with you about salvation, encourage you. 
you know, accept it. You know, we're not guaranteed another time. And there's nothing like being saved. You know, that literally, you know, that's the most life, you know, experiencing thing that you can do is accept Christ as your Savior. And as I said there, if we can help you in any way, you know, just uh, let us know. Want any resources about anything, you know, tobacco, alcohol, pornography, you know, Bible study books, you know, anything at all, just let us know. And we'll certainly help you in any way that we can. And thank you so much there for being with us. And for now, we'll close in prayer. Our Father, we sure do love you. We thank you for the gifts of sin. Thank you so much for meeting with us here today. Thank you for letting us uh, write this track and give it out to the people. And do pray that you'd be with our event coming up on April the 1st, this coming Friday. And I just uh, pray that you would just uh, help us and be with us as we go out and to spread your word and uh, spread the harms of tobacco. Pray that you'd be with us. And just uh, give us, uh, help us abundantly, we pray. And just uh, touch hearts and souls. And just bless all the work that we do here, Lord, with our temperance awakening and word awakening, all the ministries. And just pray that you bless us and keep us for your honor and glory, Lord. And we'll certainly be careful to give you all the honor and praise for everything, because you're worthy of you alone. For it's in the blessed name of Jesus Christ we pray all these things. Amen. Man, thank you so much, folks, for being with us. And we'll see you next time. And until the break in the shadows flee away, I am Dr. Coop, and I love you, and I appreciate you.